Hi guys, my name is Tatiana, Life and Glow Wellness. Today I would like to offer you another review of Metaphorical Associative Cards and I chose a deck by Nicoletta Ciccole. It's a tarot deck. There's also an oracle card version. I decided to buy tarot deck and then we'll see. Today I will unbox this deck and we'll see what kind of pictures it has. This was actually a recommendation from one of my Russian teachers and I decided to give it a try and I did some research and I realized that quite a few people in Russia already work with such a deck. So let's see how it goes. I offer sessions with metaphorical cards, emotion image therapy and art therapy. The best way to book a session is through WhatsApp, Skype or website. Also, you can find some links at the Linktree account slash Life and Glow. I haven't seen it yet, which is very interesting always. They call it unboxing therapy. And some of my colleagues know that it's really difficult sometimes to stop buying decks because there's so many interesting decks. However, in reality, you don't really need many metaphorical cards. Even two, three, five decks would be enough. Yet it's always interesting to see more. So they come packaged like this. For those who are new to metaphorical cards, I recommend to watch my other videos about this, uh, where I tell a bit more how you can work with also tarot and oracle cards to read them as metaphorical cards, and also videos with principles, how we work. All right, so I took time to look through this deck and I'm going to include also flip through so that you also have a chance to see what's included here. Basically, there is a classic... Uh, let me see how many cards are here. I'm not a tarot reader, so I cannot really estimate it from the tarot perspective. I do use tarot for myself just for fun and for insights, but I'm not like a trained practitioner. For those who create decks, I would recommend to include clearly the number of uh, cards. Now there is a manual, it's in five languages, uh, English, German, French, Italian and in Spanish. So I'm going to include flip through with my hands so that you can see more clearly. Well, the deck seems to be quite typical, it's a little bit slippery, but images are nice. <laughs> Interesting palette, the, that kind of vintage look. I will show you specific cards so that you can see. Yeah, it doesn't really focus. It's not those contemporary cameras which focus easily. I haven't used this deck yet with clients, but I would assume that it's possible to work with people of different ages. I would say probably on average from maybe 12-ish, maybe 15 to up to 60, 70. Now, there is this kind of wounded child slash woman, girl image, which uh, can be associated with different uh, ages. For example, you can see here, in through the deck, just briefly, I could see that there are quite a few images which can be potentially associated with some kind of sexual context or maybe men's women relationship or relationship with yourself. So this is the best use for this deck is for working with women or any situations related to women. However, I think even men can find something here as well. I'm pretty sure it's quite diverse in this respect. What's interesting about this deck is it's kind of uh, a little bit disturbing sometimes, but at the same time there is some tenderness and there is some subtlety in it. The girls on the pictures are kind of in their world, somewhat lost in something. And, and because lots of people in the world are kind of lost uh, on the verge of something, I think this deck might be a good choice for working in contemporary times. From my practice, and uh, I suspect that if you work with a deck like this and you're not aiming at a therapy session, for example, client, the client came for coaching or for a counseling session, and for some reason they just chose to work with this deck. If you give clients a choice, they can choose decks. The client came to you with a specific request and you would like to stay, during the session you would like to stick to that topic. This deck might not be the best choice because I am pretty sure it's very easy to deviate into another subject with it. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, it can be a good thing because you can quickly spot 
the what is bothering the client and then decide together whether you want to work with it or not. Now, if it's related to women-men relationships or a relationship with yourself, or self-esteem and also wounded child and things like that, or some kind of um, anger management and uh, anxiety and things like that, this is a really good deck, as I can see it here. And whichever emotions you work with, especially negative ones, I think that would be a great choice. Essentially, to sum up, this deck is uh, for working with security, with self-esteem, with relationships, including sexual relationships, and um, maybe some kind of hidden desires, uh, perhaps some undefined feelings or something which is bothering you, or, or maybe there is a, a need for something, and then you can use this deck to dive deeper into what actually is on the mind, on the subconscious mind, on the client. And now I would like to offer you an exercise. I chose randomly eight cards and uh, you can think of a question, for example, what part of me needs attention right now and what kind of attention? This is more of a to question to dive deeper into. Maybe you have some needs or you um, don't want something. You can also go from the opposite and then this can help you to get the answer. I hope so. Maybe there is a part of you which uh, wants something but you are not doing it and you keep suppressing it. Um, I don't know, the cases are different. But think of what in you, whether it's an inner child or your feminine or masculine part, doesn't matter, needs attention. So I chose randomly eight cards and I will show you. But before I do that, I suggest you to choose a number and that is from one to eight and that will be your answer to the question now i'm reminding you the question is what part of you needs attention and what kind of attention i'll give you some time so just pick a number so you can look at the card and think what resonates with you maybe it reminds you of something and you associate it with specific feeling or a need because we are talking about your needs what kind of attention you need right now. Card number one. Card number two. Card number three. Card number four. Card number five, six, seven, eight. I know that some of people they don't necessarily connect to a specific card so I decided in this video also to add a slide just spot the one which does resonate let me know in the comments if you get any insights from the exercise and which card you chose it's always interesting to know I'd be happy to, to know what you've got I can totally understand if you don't feel like sharing openly in the comments because it might be something very personal. In this case, you can either message to me on Instagram at Life and Glow in a direct message, mention your name and which video you mean. Another way is to also email through the website or to make a comment but then delete it later. <laughs> it's just a trick which I realize sometimes people comment and then they delete it after a few minutes and then. I will still see the notification, I guess in some cases at least. If you do share your insights in that way, please comment here so that I know and I find your feedback. This was Tarot Deck by Nicolette Ciccola and my first impressions. You can see two images here. I would also like to do some kind of question and answer videos and you can message to me at lifeandglow.com slash ask Submit your questions and I'd be happy to include them in some video. Like, subscribe, stay well, be healthy and use metaphorical cards. 
Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.